Thank you for choosing At Home Medical. My name is Kim, I'm a respiratory therapist. Today we're gonna to talk to you about a 50 PSI compressor, which if you're a patient that is going home from the hospital with a trach in your neck, we're going, we need to give you moisture. So this is the way we hydrate your airway and we provide that moisture to the airway. On the front of the machine, you're going to see a dial and we would preset it before uh, it leaves the warehouse. There's also a connection on top. If this is not connected for some reason, it will be, um, it'll be with the machine in the bag. You're just going to tighten it up and connect it to the front of the machine. This is your on off switch and this is your circuit breaker for the machine itself. Now the reason we're using this is for when patients come home, either they, most of the time it's for a trach and you need aerosolized moisture to your trach. So we're giving you some hydration. So what happens is we use a couple of different components here. You're gonna start by taking the large bore nebulizer bottle and placing it onto the machine. Then you will get six foot, uh, 100 feet of tubing, and you're going to cut the ends. And when you cut it, you're going to cut it in the middle of the two pieces that you see here. Usually you make it about six feet. If somebody needs to move around in bed, if they're using it just in bed or in a chair, you usually make it long enough for them to be able to move around. One end fits into the bottle. The other end, you're going to have the trach mask. And this will then go around onto the trach. Now, if you're using oxygen, you're going to take this piece, it's called a U adapter, and you're going to put that onto the bottle and this to the other end. So if you had oxygen in the home, you would have a concentrator that's plugged into the wall for oxygen, and you would put the tubing from the concentrator to the port here to give the oxygenation. If not, we usually don't use this piece, so for now we're just going to take it out. Now, if we're not using oxygen, there are numbers on the front, uh, on the top of the bottle. So we got a 35 and it goes up to a hundred. So when I turn the machine on, what it's going to do is it's going to give you the moisture that's coming out as aerosol. It's a very fine mist. If you see the mist and you turn it up in number, so I went from 45 or 35 to 100, you can see it's a lot less. So the patient, depending on how much they need, can work with the top of the dial to give them what they need to moisten their airway. If oxygen is required and we need to do something called analyzing the oxygen, we would do that. And that would depend on now what we put this number on little different at home than in the hospital. So for the most part, if there's not oxygen, we are just using it this way and we tell our patients to just give themselves what they need to keep their airway moist. Now for cleaning purposes, we want to take this bottle and every other day you're filling it actually with distilled water, but we want to take it apart and we want to clean it with soap and water, just detergent and water. Once to twice a week, you're going to dump this tubing and you're going to replace it. Every day, you're going to take the mask and you're going to clean that with regular dish detergent and water also. Replace it onto the new tubing.